called Boo My Food. It's a crack party! While walking in the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something strange. A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend, not knowing where this adventure would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. Where are they going? I don't know. How do we get there? Come on, let's go! creature adventuring in a bat cave. Boy, do we smell like bat guano. Bat guano is bat poop. And bat guano smells big time. Hey, let's call Zabu. All right. Zabu! Zabu Bafu! Hey, Zabu! Hey, Zabu! He's here! Hey, Zabu! You must have smelled us all the way in the forest. You know Zabu. No chat until after he's had a snack. So what do you think's in the snack machine? Zabu! Banana! Come on! There you go. Mm, we all love bananas. Okay, one more little piece. There you go. <laughs> Excuse me. Zabu Mafu! Mmm, <laughs> I love bananas. You smell. You smell different. Well, not the same. Not like Chris, not like Martin. That's because we have the smell of guano on us. Guano? Guano? <laughs> What's guano? Poop. Poop. <laughs> not all creatures like the smell of bat poop, but most creatures are really curious about how other creatures smell. I saw a creature in the forest. Smell, smell, sniff, sniff. And that's what he did. Who could it be? This animal who I did see Can you help me guess this mystery? He's one big body And what a nose! Ah! Who could it be? This animal who I did see used his nose to eat with. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He's a big, long-nosed creature. Do you know who he is? Long, snaky nose. Big, floppy ears. Big, round feet. Tiny eyes. Really, really heavy. Little tail. It's a baby elephant! Long <laughs> Zika! Mystery Animals here! Wow! Hey. How you doing? A baby ethylent? Elephant, Zob! Elephant. Elephant. Hi, elephant! I think he's interested in our guano smell. <laughs> Maybe he followed our smell all the way to Animal Junction. Wow, look at these feet. See, these are the toes. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. These are the toenails. The bottom of an elephant's foot is like one big soft pad. This helps an elephant walk really quietly, even though he's so big. Manga Zika. Wow. Your hair is hard. Yeah, the hair that covers an elephant's body is hard and bristly, like a toothbrush. Ooh. 
but this <laughs> toothbrush is more his size. <laughs> Let's give him a good back scratch. Yes, yeah, scratch is good, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna scratch right behind his ears. Hey, Chris, try that on me. Sure, Zob. Uh, oh, that feels good. Oh, oh, lower down my back. Oh, oh, oh. How's oh, that, Zob? Oh, yeah, harder, 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 harder. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, <laughs> you okay, Zob? Yeah. Come on, Zob, huh? let's keep brushing. <laughs> Underneath the belly. Uh. I can't cover that much elephant with this little toothbrush, so I have to do the detail work. How does that feel? Boy, hard with a small toothbrush. Hey, look at the elephant's tail. It's kind of like a toothbrush, too. See those bristles? <laughs> Back to scratching. There's a lot of elephant to cover. And he loves being scratched with a toothbrush. Hey, can I call you toothbrush? Toothbrush, that's a great name, Zob. A good toothbrush scratch for toothbrush. Yup, and we scratched him from top to bottom. An elephant has one of the most incredible noses. It's called a trunk. Trunk? A trunk? Huh, his trunk is longer than my whole body. And toothbrush can do incredible things with this nose. Can he blow a goobleberry off his nose? <laughs> toothbrush, what are you doing? Hey, you smelling my shoes. An elephant uses his nose to help him talk. <laughs> Elephants make all kinds of sounds. When they're excited or surprised, they trumpet. Wow. No, no, oh, that tickles. <laughs> he can tickle with his nose, too. That's right, Sam. An elephant uses his nose to explore. Hey, what's he doing with a harmonica? <laughs> Toothbrush, you're playing the harmonica. Harmonica? An elephant's nose is always up to something. What a nose, yeah. Look how the elephant can grab onto things with his trunk. <laughs> Just call me trunk fingers. <laughs> I wish my nose could grab onto things and reach out. It's like having an arm and a hand on your face. What a nose. Wow. <laughs> and look at the way he uses his nose as a straw. He sucks water up into his nose and then blows it out into his mouth. That's the way an elephant drinks, with his nose. A creature who drinks with his nose? I can't believe my mind. <laughs> Whoa, another amazing thing an elephant can do with his nose. Use it as a hose. Toothbrush gave you a shower, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Elephants spray themselves and each other to keep cool. Because nothing feels better than a cool shower on a hot African afternoon. Sabu, have a look at this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're supposed to kick it. He's trying to eat the soccer ball. I can't believe my mind. Wow, look at him kick that ball. <laughs> Let's play. Wow. Hey, he's really good at this. <laughs> I'm gonna at ya. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder who taught him to play soccer. Through the left. Oh, nice hey. kick. Nice kick, toothbrush. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Whoa. Thanks, toothbrush. Oh, whoa. That reminds me of something that happened in Sabu Land. Wow. I was leaping along, leap, 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 when all of a sudden, I heard a sniffling sound. I took one big leap and landed next to Narchi, who was standing next to Google and crying. What's the matter, Narchi? Why are you crying? We're trying to play catch with the Goobleberry, but I can't throw because my arms are too stubby. <laughs> well, I said we could play another game, but uh, he wants to play catch. 
<laughs> I've got an idea, Narchi. Don't use your arms to throw. Use your nose and blow. Oh, good idea. <laughs> oh, good idea, huh? Uh -huh. I'm, I'm ready. Oh. Here we go. Oh. And I'm the lemur oh, in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 Nice catch. Oh. It worked. <laughs> I can play. All right, let's do it again. Oh. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. So we played Goobleberry Catch oh. all day. Oh. And I was the lemur in the middle. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Here, catch. The end. <laughs> Chris, Martin, toothbrush is hungry. <laughs> I want to eat those. <laughs> we have a lot better stuff. Come over here to the food machine. All right, so what do you want? OK, you know, you don't want that. That's for a kawaii. This is for a porcupine. Let's see. Here, how about, I know we have stuff for elephants. Can you back up a little bit? Hey, right over here, elephant stuff. Look, see that? There we go. Push it together. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Chris, it's on the fritz again. Uh-oh. Not again. I'll get the I'll tools. Be right back. Yeah. We'll fix it up to feed an elephant. Hold it, Martin. Look at that. Toothbrush has an idea. Your nose. Good idea, Toothbrush. Whoa. Look at that trunk go. <laughs> well, I guess he fixed it himself. <laughs> <laughs> That's an amazing thing about an elephant's nose. Hey, you know, this is too much work, though. We still got to fix this machine. Yeah. At this rate, he'll never fill his belly. Man, Toothbrush has a big belly. <laughs> because elephants need a lot of food. When an elephant's hungry and wants some leaves, she might push down the whole tree. Then her nose goes into action, packing in over 300 pounds of food in one day. Hang on there, Toothbrush. Yeah, we just have to fix this thing up to feed an elephant. There. We're ready. Let's give it a try. <laughs> now this is what an elephant needs. A lot of food. <laughs> he eats as much as a dinosaur. There you go. Watch that apple. I'm already full, but he just keeps on eating. Let's watch this apple go from the elephant's trunk into his mouth. I love the sounds the elephant makes when he eats. <laughs> You're the greatest toothbrush. I'm feeling kind of elephantish. I'm feeling kind of elephantish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel elephantish. How about you? Elephantish. Ella, Ella, elephantish. <laughs> elephantish. <laughs> it tickles. I'm a long nose noser, nosing all around. <laughs> Toothbrush is my elephant friend. Yeah, Zog. And the elephants say hello to their friends with their trunks. Wow! Toothbrush really likes Chris. Elephants are really social animals. That means they like to be together. They really don't like being on their own much. Elephants live together in groups, and a group of elephants is called a herd. Where's his family? Hope he's not lost. He must have wandered away from the herd when he followed his nose to Animal Junction. But the herd must be close by, because everybody in the herd looks after the baby elephants. Elephants are a lot like us. Like people. A young elephant stays with his mom for a long, long time. I think Toothbrush wants to go back to his herd soon. Hmm. <laughs> what was that? What? Huh? Everybody, duck! 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 It's a vulture, not a duck! <laughs> All right. Manga Zika. Look at those wings. Woo! <laughs> wow. 
And look at that nose. A turkey vulture has the best sense of smell of any animal in the world. And look at this. You can see right through his nostril. Wow. Hey, that message from Jackie must be around here somewhere. Here it is. All right, let's see what she's up to. From Jackie. Hey, why don't you guys come over and help me mow the lawn? Just kidding. Hold it, a garter snake. I can't cut the grass. There's lots of creatures that share my backyard, like the garter snake. And sometimes if you share your yard, you really have to share it. So I think I'll leave this part for my friends, because I could always cut the grass later. Hey there, Snooter. I'd rather play with Snooter than mow the lawn anyway, wouldn't you? And you know what? Dogs are great smellers. Great smellers. Jackie just gave me a great idea. But there's no grass to cut, Martin. Not that's up. I thought of a way that we could get Toothbrush back to the <sighs> elephant herd. That's right. All we have to do is call Myrtle. She's a bloodhound, and bloodhounds are one of the best smellers around. Yeah, and she can sniff her way all the way to Toothbrush's herd. Great idea. Let's call Myrtle. Let's do it. Myrtle! Come here, girl! Come Myrtle. on, Myrtle! Myrtle! Hey, guys! Myrtle! Uh-oh. I don't think they know Toothbrush is leaving. Here she comes. Hey, hey, Chris, Martin. Just a minute, Sabu. Oh. Hey, Myrtle, how you doing? Good to see you, Myrtle. Chris Martin, Myrtle's here, but Toothbrush is already gone. He's gone? He's gone. We better get to the closet. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. A leash for Myrtle. Great. Martin. Oh, yeah. Well, we got to do what we got to do. Yikes! Ah! <laughs> Let's go find our elephant. Okay, Myrtle's gonna smell this harmonica because it has Toothbrush's scent on it. Remember, Toothbrush blew on the harmonica and left his scent. A scent is a smell. Myrtle is sniffing the harmonica and picking up the scent of Toothbrush. Now Myrtle can sniff her way to Toothbrush and we can make sure Toothbrush gets safely back to his herd. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Toothbrush must have passed by here. Hey Myrtle, take a sniff. She's got the scent, all right. Whoa! <laughs> Let's go see where Myrtle's nose is taking Chris, come on. It's an elephant track. We're right on our trail. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that bloodhound has a nose that never quits. Myrtle has the scent again. Let me take you. Okay, but hold on tight. Oh. Oops. Look at that nose go. Wait up, Myrtle! <laughs> there she is! <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you finally stop? <laughs> I know why she stopped. We found Toothbrush! And his whole family! But before we see them, we have somebody to take care of. How about some water before you head home? <laughs> there you go, Myrtle. There you go. Good job, Myrtle. Bye, Myrtle! Happy sniffing! And now for the elephants. Come on. Wow! Look at those noses go! Let's watch and see how an elephant uses his nose in the wild. Right now, they're picking up nosefuls of grass. Elephants are super strong animals. Even their noses are strong. An elephant's nose can pick up a log. You really think she can pick that up? She did it! That is one strong nose. Hey, 
Let's see if we can pick up this log. Ready, Martin? Ready. Not only can an elephant's nose pick up big things, it can also pick up teeny tiny things. Like a leaf. Elephant noses can do almost anything. Hey, Martin, now that we have Toothbrush back to his family, let's follow our noses back to Animal Junction. All right, let's go! <laughs> what are you looking for? I mean, if you don't, Something's you going on in there. Do you, you want sure? to find out why? Okay, well, go ahead. Well, I'll just watch them. Hey, Kawadis! That's who you are. You never told me. You're Kawadis. Kawadis have one of the greatest sniffers in the creature world. Kawadi noses are great smellers. Those noses can smell food buried in the sand. <laughs> they stick their nose right in there. Is that why they have such long noses? Yeah, Zob, look how long they are. It's almost like they use it as a shovel. Yeah, look at that. And then once they find something, it's like they dig it up. Oh, what are they looking for over there? Talk about an animal that follows its nose. Hey, what are you looking for? What do you smell? <laughs> Manga Tsika. Food in sand, I want to dig. Go for it, Zom. Thanks. <laughs> Digging. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're great. Thanks. Oh, Martin's digging too. Whoa. This Kawadi found an egg. Oh, it's a great. <laughs> Look at him trying to hold on to the egg. <laughs> no, hold on. It's hard to get a good hold on an egg, <laughs> even with the Kawadi's sharp claws. Mangatsika! I can't believe my mind! Kawadis love to eat eggs. So, as soon as this guy can break it open, I'm sure he's gonna have a feast. Look, he did it! He broke the egg by ramming it into the post. Kawadis are pretty smart, too. That's some slimy stuff he's eating. What'd you guys find? This Kawadi's nose led him straight to an egg. Wow. Kawadi's love to chow down on eggs, especially turtle eggs. He just waits for the sea turtle to lay her eggs in the sand, and then the Kawadi gets down to business. He sniffs his way to the turtle eggs, and when he finds them, digs them up for a great supper. But eggs aren't the only thing a Kawadi eats. Every Kawadi loves a good coconut. Yeah, that's another neat thing about Kawadis. They eat just about anything. They're called omnivores. Omnivores means, well, when you're an animal, they you eat anything. Even scorpions. And a Kawadi is so fast, she can catch a scorpion without getting stung on the nose. What a creature. What a nose. I had a friend who had a nose you wouldn't believe in Sabu land. Wow! I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. And then I heard a funny noise. It sounded to me like Narchi. Sure enough, it was Narchi. Climbing up the hill, pushing a zoot fruit. But then he sneezed and slid down the hill. The zoot fruit rolled down after him. Try it again. Climbing up the hill with his zoot fruit, but he sneezed again and slid down the hill. The zoot fruit rolled down after him. Then Narchi said, I just can't get my zoot fruit to the top of the hill. So I said to him, Hey, Narchi, why don't you use something else to push the zoot fruit? Well, I don't have anything else. I only have me. Why don't you use your sneezy nose to help you? Try walking backwards and pushing the zoot fruit with your behind. Oh, and don't forget to sneeze. Thanks, Zom. So Narchi's nose sneezed him up the hill. <laughs> what a nose. <laughs> I did it. I climbed the hill. <laughs> so me and Narchi sat on top of the hill and nibbled on his zoot fruit all day. The end. <laughs> noses are the greatest smellers, sniffers, and rollers. I love noses. Their noses want to take them home now. Bye, Kawadis. See you later, Kawadis. Bye. 
Hey, Zap, huh? you have fun today? Oh, yeah, especially when Toothbrush gave Chris a shower with his nose. <laughs> and when we found Toothbrush and his family. Yeah, that too, that too. And I love the part when we were sniffing around with the quad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his party behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say. Go make an animal friend today. Bye, guys. See you later, Zabu. Bye, Zab. Hey, let's go bike up the mountain. Great idea. Mountain biking. We'll see you next time. Hi, my name is Amanda, and this is my pet, Dove Mirror. I have to pet him. I just have to get this bag over to the food machine. Whoa! No! A puppy food! No doubt about it, Zabu LeFou heard that. We won't have to call him today. Hey, he's already here. I'll see what Zabu's up to, and I'll clean up your puppy food. What a leaping leap. So, hey, you wondering what Chris is doing? <laughs> you know Zabu, toy snack time before talk time. I'll get a snack. And I'm all cleaned up over here. Celery. Zabu, how about celery? Hey, here, have this one. Chris, you want a piece? Yeah. There you go. And I'm gonna have a piece too. We're all eating celery. Celery's good, isn't it, Zob? It's great just hanging out with a lemur and eating celery. Hey, that's fine. What are you doing? I think you've had enough. You don't want to get too full. Give me some of the food! <laughs> that's noisy stuff. Yeah, Zob, it is noisy. Is it yummy? It is for puppies, but not really for lemurs. Because this hmm? is puppy food. It made a loud sound. I heard it in my ear from way out the... Ears! I couldn't believe my mind. I saw ears as long as my... As long as my arm. Yeah. As long as your arm? Yeah, on the head of a creature. Was she a rabbit? Like her? Oh, well, a rabbit. <laughs> rabbit has long ears. But her ears stick straight up. <laughs> the creature I saw had floppy ears that hung down, not up, down. Not up, down. Kind of upside down. Who is it, Zob? Whoa, help! Whoa! Oh. 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 That's what you have to tell me. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? There was a lot of skin, wrinkles of skin, and a big sniffing nose. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. He's a happy creature. She's a big-eared kind of dog creature. Do you know who she is? Okay, so she's a dog. With long ears, wrinkly, floppy skin, and her nose to the ground. Well, then she must be... A bloodhound! <laughs> Mystery animal's here! <laughs> <laughs> she's licking my ear. <laughs> I didn't even hear her coming. That's her, that's her. A dog. Hi, dog. What kind of a dog is she again? She's a bloodhound. Bloodhound. And look at her ears. 
Those have got to be some of the longest ears in the creature world. <gasps> ears! Oh, I almost forgot. There were a lot of littler ears flopping along behind her. There were? Uh -huh. Look, here they come. Whoa. Bloodhound Blood puppies! What? <laughs> Look at those ears flopping. Whoa. Floppy ears. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> hey. Wow, you have big ears for a little puppy. Imagine if when you put your head on the ground, your ears touch the ground. Those are some big ears. Bloodhounds don't just have amazing ears for hearing. Some people think a bloodhound's long ears help him to smell. With his nose to the ground, his ears flop forward and kind of push the smell to his nose. See if they can smell me! See if they can smell me! Go, slime, at the go! Will they find her? Can they smell me yet? You'll never find me. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, he shipped me down! He shipped me down! No, don't take a shit! Oh, his slipper slimed me. Oh, that was funny. Look at all this loose skin on a bloodhound puppy. Makes picking them up a little hard. They're kind of like picking up a water balloon. <laughs> it kind of jiggles and wiggles. You're not too sure if you've got it or not. Even though she's a little puppy, her ears are still a lot bigger than mine. Hey, Chris, I'm looking at your ear and at the puppy ear, and you know what? You're here. <laughs> Ear here. Both ears, but not the same. Yeah, Zob, we all have different ears, but they all do the same thing. Take ghost bats. They have huge ears, each as big as the bat's face. Bat ears can hear ultrasonic sounds that most other ears can't. How about rhinos? They can't see very well, so rhino ears are really important. Rhino ears even turn to point in the direction of sounds. Then there are chimpanzees. Notice anything about those ears? Yeah, they look a lot like human ears. That's because chimps and humans are closely related. And lemurs are related too, right? Right, Zob. So, all these ears may look a little different, but there's one thing they all do. Ears here! Did you hear that? No, <laughs> I heard it, because I'm all ears. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. Did you hear anything? I didn't hear anything either. But these long-eared puppies sure did. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to use their ears and noses to find out where that sound is coming from. That puppy's off to check it out. Let's follow him. Okay, puppy, lead the way. <laughs> Carrots being munched. That's the sound. Hey, a bunch of bunnies. Hey, even though all our ears hear, a dog's ear can hear sounds people ears can't. We didn't hear anything. But this puppy heard these bunnies. Do you hear them now, Chris? Yeah, I do now. Do you? <laughs> these puppies are hearing sounds we can't even hear at all. Yep, and they're looking for something in particular. Really? How do you know? Um, I just know I know. It must be his lemur sense. <laughs> yeah. My lemur sense told me. Well, one thing's for sure. We have to help those puppies listen for whatever they're listening for. So, you know what time it is? Time to finish our super ear sensors. <laughs> Manga Zika super ear sensors. But what's a super ear sensor? When we put on our super ear sensors, we'll be able to hear everything a bloodhound puppy hears. Just have to tune the acoustic booster a little. Oh. What's that? Sideways modulator. Oh. Include this antenna. Mm. You know what they're doing? No, I don't either. You know who hears great? My friend from Zabu Land. I was leap, leap, leaping along. <laughs> leap, 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 
leap when I bumped into Sensei. Oh, oh, oh. He was very excited. Oh, Zabu, Zabu! Nah, I really want to test my senses. Nah, my smelling, my feeling, my seeing. Nah, can you go hide over there so I can try and find you? Oh, sure, Sensei. Nah, oh, one, two, nah, nah, three. And I knew exactly how I was going to hide. I hopped over to a striped fruit tree, and I ate striped fruit. And then I turned stripey and camouflaged into the striped tree. <laughs> I don't think even Sensei can see me here. <laughs> Say Zabu! <laughs> I can smell you, but I can't see you. <laughs> you here? I'm over here. <laughs> oh, wow, what senses. My ears are so super, they can even hear a striped tree talking. <laughs> it's not the striped tree talking, it's me, <laughs> no, no, Zabu no, no. with stripes. <laughs> <laughs> Zabu with stripes, no, that's a good one. I could hear you, but I couldn't see you, Zab. Wait, wait, but wait, now here. I hear What's something you? else. What? what? I don't hear anything. <laughs> it's my little sisters. No, no, no. Oh, and then since it's little sisters slid down the tree. Hi, since it's little sisters. I was so happy to see them that we played and laughed for the rest of the day. <laughs> the end. <laughs> We're done. This is how we're gonna hear sounds we can't normally hear. Because now we can hear like bloodhounds. And we can help the puppies find that sound that they've been looking for. Hmm? Keep your ears open. What do you hear? Oh, I don't wanna talk too loud in her ear because she hears so well. Doing. Oh yeah, I hear it too. Yeah, I hear it too. Let's follow our ears and make sure you don't trip over yours. I think we have a lead on the noisemaker. Of course, it's a spring hair. And how about those ears? What ears? I can't believe my mind. <laughs> a spring hair is an incredible animal with incredible ears. And he needs those ears when he's wandering around the African savanna at night. Because a spring hare looks for food at night, but so do a lot of his predators, like hyenas. A spring hare eats grass, but hyenas eat spring hares. So the spring hare always has to be on guard while he's looking for food. And that's where his ears help out. The second he hears something coming, he's out of there. It's a good thing he can leap 12 feet in a single bound when he has to. I can't believe how huge the spring hare's eyes are. That's because a spring hare is nocturnal. And nocturnal means he comes out at night. So he uses his ears and his eyes to stay away from those African predators. Oh, and look at the little hands he has. These are some of the longest claws in the creature world. His toenails are long, too. Look at that. Oh, look how he cleans himself. He takes from his mouth some spit and then cleans off his nose like that. <laughs> wow, look at him. He sure likes to scratch a lot. Yeah, come on. Let's scratch like a spring hair. All right, get scratching. You can do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it feels good, huh? Scratching like a spring hair. Wow. Spring hair. Hmm? That's spring hair sound. But that's not the sound the puppies are looking for. You're right, Zom. <laughs> so what sound are the puppies looking for? I don't know, but it's really getting noisy in here. Tell me about it, Zob. And finding the sound now is going to be like trying to find a chick's peep in a thunderstorm. Yeah, there's just so many animals making their animal sounds. <laughs> Macaw! <laughs> Camel! <laughs> Snowy Owl! Capuchin Monkey! Baboon! Pig! Too many animal sounds! Our superhero sensors are cheating! Oh, not the puppy food! 
It's right here. The sound's over here. That's the particular sound the puppies were listening for. <gasps> of course. Oh. Oh. The puppies were listening for the sound of the puppy food that Chris spilled before. Well, it's a good thing I spilled it again. These puppies are hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it's noisy, but it's yummy to the puppies. Here's some water to wash it down. What was that? <laughs> it's right over here. Want some water? You want some water? Oh, they're thirsty. Bloodhound puppies' ears fall in the water when they drink. Whoa! <laughs> they sure do, Zob. I wonder. Do soggy ears hear? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's call them for playtime! Play <laughs> Come on, puppies! Go, puppies, go! Go, go, go! go, go. <laughs> you wanna play? Let's play! I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel bloodhoundish. How about you, bloodhoundish? I feel bloodhoundish. The bloodhound puppy ears flopping all around. Bloodhoundish! Ears here. Whoa, now she's a loud <laughs> flapper. Yeah, we don't need our super ear sensors to hear a vulture flying. I see the vulture, but to where are the ears? What do you mean, Zav? No ears. Oh, yeah, she has ears. But where are they then? There's one right there, right behind her eye. And the other one is right here. Phew, I see them. Her ears, a hole in the side of her head. Ears here. <laughs> hey, and here's a message from Jackie. I have a fox den in my backyard, and I'm a good neighbor. Being a good neighbor to creatures means giving them their space. <laughs> and that's what I do. I just watch. One thing I love about fox kits is how big their ears look when they're little. Foxes use their ears to find food. Birds have ears, and foxes use their ears to find food. Hey! That's what your fellow <laughs> lemur, the Aye Aye, does too. Yeah, Aye Aye, but Aye Aye likes bugs. <laughs> hey, do you want to go see how the Aye Aye uses his ears to find bugs? Let's go find the Aye Aye. Sounds like a trip to me. They're going to the closet, they're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure, and, and they, they don't, don't know, know what's, what's in store. store. They're, they're coming, coming from, from the closet, and, and they're headed out the door. Out the door. Yeah, Come on. What was that? I'd know that tapping sound anywhere. Yeah, it sounds like an eye eye for sure. But where is he? Hey, Chris. Yeah. Knock it off. Knock what off? Yeah, don't, I'm not gonna fall for that old and eye eyes tapping you on the head trick. Come on. I'm not tapping you on the head. Wow. <gasps> an eye eye. Wow. <laughs> what an incredible creature. Look at his fingers. They're so long and skinny, especially the middle one. And how about that face? What a funny looking lemur. Hey, you hear that? And I, I sniffs like he always has a cold. <laughs> and check out those ears. Ears, that's what we're here to check out. How does an I, I find food with his ears? Let's listen. You know what's going on? All right, let's go through it. And I, I taps with his finger. Then he listens with his ears to hear a bug crawling around inside. It 
takes great ears to hear a bug hiding in wood. If he hears one, he starts digging with his teeth. Ouch! Ah! My teeth aren't made for digging wood like an Aya's teeth are. Try a chisel. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. An Aya's teeth are as strong as this tool. That's how an Aya digs through hard wood. And when he finds a bug, he eats it. <laughs> Let's watch him do it again. Okay, he taps and listens for where the bugs are hiding. He hears one. Now he bites through the wood right at the spot. Then he uses his long middle finger to pick out a nice, juicy bug. He got it! Wow. Yo. For an eye eye. I love eye eyes. He's heading back to the treetops. And we're heading back to Animal Junction. Sabu? Sabu? This is weird. Where'd Sabu go? Hmm. There aren't any other animals here either. Hey! <laughs> Where'd you come from? Hi, Toothbrush. Remember him? This is our friend Toothbrush. <laughs> you snuck up on us. <laughs> Doesn't it seem weird that such a big animal can move so quietly? Yeah, and the secret is in the elephant's foot. An elephant's foot is soft and padded, so he can walk without making much sound. That's how you snuck up on us. <laughs> so, we figured out how an elephant can sneak up behind us. But we still don't know where Zabu is. I'm here, behind the ear. Phew! I've been hiding behind Toothbrush's ear the whole time. <laughs> That's a great place to hide. <laughs> they fell for the old hide behind the elephant ear trick. Whoa, 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 yeah, whoa. look how huge an elephant's ear is. On those hot African days, the heat in an elephant's body can escape through his ears. That's how those ears cool an elephant off. They must work great, because they're so big. <laughs> That's why I hid there. You know what? I had a friend who was all ears, well, almost all ears, in Zabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 and looking for mangoes to eat. Couldn't see any. Hmm. Yeah. Couldn't smell any. <sighs> and I was hungry, so I yelled, Hello, Sensit! I need your help! Coming, Zabu! <laughs> I knew he'd hear me, because he's practically all ears. Hi, Zabu! <laughs> what can I do for you? Hi, Sinset. I'm looking for mango fruits. Do you hear any? <laughs> mango fruits. Ah, <laughs> oh, that way. <laughs> While we were on our way, we heard Gubu oh. making sounds. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm, but that wasn't the sound of mango fruits. Well, then we heard green puppy making sounds. <laughs> that wasn't the sound of mangoes. <laughs> then we heard wiki making sounds. <laughs> <laughs> then finally, sense its ears found what we were looking for. Mangoes! Oh, can't you hear them? <laughs> I didn't hear a sound until we started eating. Oh, yummy. <laughs> the end. Hey, how did you guys get those mangoes out of Zabu land? <laughs> we didn't, Zabu. I got them out of the fridge while you were telling your story. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, can I have a bite? Sure. Uh. Hey, Chris, what was your favorite part of the day? I liked Zabu's buddy Sensei and how he could hear fruit. Mangoes! No, oh, can't you hear them? <laughs> and I loved the way the Aya used his ears to find bugs. What'd you like, Zab? Zab? <laughs> I liked when the animals snuck up on you guys. The bloodhound? Bloodhound! The Aya? An Aya! Wow. 
the elephant? Hey! Where'd you come from? And me. And you never heard us coming. <laughs> This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his funny behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today! Yeah! Brothers. See you later, Zabu. Bye, Zab. Hey, let's go swimming with seals. Yes. Did you know that seals can close their ears underwater? We'll see you next time. Yeah, bye. Hi, my name is Eddie, and this is my dog, Cartman. He's my best friend, and I love him. Yeah.